I'm back in action. Uh, I got sick for like two weeks, like overnight. I'm not sure what that thing was, but I was down. I am a strong man who never gets sick. I take care of my body, I take vitamins, um, I eat my vegetables, I exercise. But I couldn't even get out of bed, yo. And I was still working, I was running my business, I had to. But the devil overplayed his hand. What do I mean? The devil overplayed his hand. See, <clears throat> a lot of times the devil knows our weakness. He knows that when we when he attacks us, that whatever it is we're doing for the Lord, when he brings on that attack, we'll focus on the attack and what's happening in our lives or in our body. And we'll lose focus of who God is for us. He's counting on the fact that we're going to believe that God is not good because we're going through a circumstance or a situation. But because we live in this world, we're not of it. He can manipulate circumstances and situations and bring people against you or bring sickness or bring circumstances in your life. And in our perception, we believe, man, if God is good, if God loves me, why am I going through this? God showed me a vision. If that vision was true, if it's going to come to pass, how can I be here in this place? How can I be going through this? See, that's smoke and mirrors. The devil is a lie. There's no truth in him. He is a lie from the beginning. See, the devil is a narcissist, and that's gaslighting. So when he puts a situation in your life or he brings sickness or illness or he puts you in some kind of warfare, he's gaslighting you into believing a lie. What you experience and how you feel is opposite of the vision or the promise that God gave you. And what the devil counts on is you turning back. That's what the storm is designed for, to get you to turn back. But let me tell you how you live in victory. No matter what you go through, a child of God and a friend of God. See, we're friends of God. We're not just servants, so we have different access and we have different revelation. And we have different benefits as a friend of God. If we don't know that we're friends of God, we don't know the level of access we have, therefore we approach God differently. But as a friend of God, you approach God and you talk to him different. Your access is different and you receive differently. Your relationship is different and you walk different. So living in breakthrough, when the devil attacks you, a friend of God and a child of God, we grow closer. We seek God in our distress. But a servant, if you have like a religious mentality, a servant, well, their first thought is, man, what did I do wrong? God must be punishing me. Um, I must have took the wrong turn. Um, God's not happy with me. Because religion puts a yoke on you. Religion puts a yoke on you because there's no power in religion. That's why Jesus said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Jesus, in the empowerment of the Holy Spirit, removes the yoke. It takes the yoke off. That's why religious people, you know, when they get sick or they go through financial struggles or um, something happens in their life, they all say, oh, God is punishing me. God must want me to go through this to learn the lesson. You know, God did. No, God didn't do that to you. The devil is lying to you or your preacher lied to you and you believed it. God never makes you sick. Poverty is not from God. Sickness is not from God. You know, distress is not from God. There's no distress in heaven. There's no sickness. There's no poverty in heaven. God is not up sitting on his throne waiting to punish us. God is sitting on his throne waiting for us to understand who we are in him so he can change and transform our life. And see, the devil knows this. That's why he brings all circumstances. But like I said, when you're a friend of God, when something happens, what, is, what do friends... What do friends do? What does the Bible say? Jesus is the friend that sits closer than a brother. You run to Jesus and you get closer to God in your distress. That's why God is called a strong tower. Because when you enter a tower, you can go all the way to the top and you can stand on top of that roof and you can look out and you can see everything that's going on. He's our strong tower. He will show us and give us revelation and understanding of what's happening. So if you want to walk and break through and you want to walk in victory, when something happens, don't run from God. Don't think that he's punishing you because that's a lie of the devil. He's a narcissist. He's gaslighting you. Grow stronger in the Lord by sticking to him and running to him in your distress. That's what I did. The devil messed up. He overplayed his hand. See, a thief doesn't come to rob an empty house. So when those attacks come, when those things come in your life, the devil's trying to steal from you. What is he here for? 
according to John 10, 10, to steal, kill, and destroy. So if something is killing, stealing, or destroying anything in your life, your finances, your relationships, your opportunities, your dream, the thing that God put in your heart, if it kills, steals, or destroys in that, it's from the devil, it's not from God. Jesus came so we can have life and life in abundance. That's what the Bible says. John 10, 10. There's two parts of that. There's the devil's will, kingdom of darkness. There's the kingdom of light. There's God's will. But when you run to God in your distress, that's what I did. I was down for two weeks and I ran to God and I sat at his feet for two weeks. The devil overplayed his hand and I grew stronger. Y'all, I grew so much stronger. I grew so much stronger. I even looked different. I look different. I feel different. I got more revelation. He did some inner healing in my heart and in my soul. Um, he changed some things around in my finances, some breakthroughs, some breakthroughs in um, other aspects of my life. I can't really say them because I got a lot of monitoring spirits and people um, who be watching. God, he, be sh he shows me their faces. Yeah, he'll do that. So I can't really release a lot of details because those monitoring spirits be um, um, trying to cash spells on me and do things like that. But I can tell you, I am living in breakthrough, y'all. Just because I got sick doesn't mean that uh, the dream is canceled out. Just because I got sick doesn't mean that uh, whatever God had planned for me and what he showed me is not going to happen. In fact, it confirmed that I'm headed in the right direction. Have you ever thought that the reason that you're going through what you're going through and what's happening in your life right now, the opposition, the warfare, the distress. Have you ever thought that it's because you're doing everything right? Because I know the devil is telling you that it's because you did this wrong and you did that wrong. And that's what he's counting on. He's counting on you to believe a lie. Because once you bite on that lie, it's just like a worm in a hook. When somebody's going fishing, you know the fisher, they put that, that uh, worm on the hook and they throw it out there in the water. Where does Jesus call us out? <laughs> in the water. The deep calls unto the deep. So when that fisherman is out there, he got that worm on that hook. And he reels them in, boom, got him. Jesus is the original fisher. He's the original fisher. And his word, his word, his worm, and he hooks us in. And he, he leads us, he guides us, and he directs us. Don't believe the lie. I'm telling y'all, don't believe the lie. I don't care what you're going through. I know it sounds cliche. I know it sounds, um, you've heard it before, but the difference in it now is you're different. You're a different person. You have different revelation. You're at a different point in your life and you have a better understanding. Double down in your warfare. Keep pressing through it. Don't let up. Whatever it is you're doing, whatever it is you're working towards, whatever it is God has you doing, don't give the devil an inch. Seek God in your distress. Let him be your strong tower and let him give you that vision and let him show you what's happening. Pray more in the spirit. Pray more in the spirit because it's the perfect will of God. And I promise you, you'll, have, you'll start having some dreams. You'll have, you'll have visions and God will show you exactly what's happening. This warfare is designed to get you to turn back, but don't believe it. You are right on the cusp of your breakthrough. I'm living in mine. And I just got sick for two weeks. That doesn't mean that the breakthrough wasn't coming. That, me that doesn't mean that the promises of God are not yes and amen. They are yes and amen. And I'm living them. And I come to tell you that the warfare you're going through is because you are right on the verge of your breakthrough. I'm not special and I'm walking in mine. Let this word encourage you. Press in. Double down. Triple down if you have to. Whatever it is, don't you turn back and don't you give up. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.